Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So on the channel, I have reacted to a couple of things with Theo Vaughn on them and I couldn't quite place them. This is not going to take very long, I promise. But he seemed familiar and I couldn't figure out why. Well, recently I've been re-watching the challenge. I started watching that at the dawn of the 2000s. Um, I didn't see the first like three seasons when they aired. It was after that. Uh, but I've been re-watching them. And that's where I know him from was the challenge. And he did so well. And he was uh, watching Theo Vaughn as a comedian. I wouldn't expect him to necessarily be as um, successful on the challenge and just overall good member of a team and show as I would guess for a comedian, if that makes sense. He just seeing him on the challenge he's a much better guy in general than I would have bet based on just being a stand-up comedian you know and he's good too oh my goodness he kicks butt on the challenges anyway so I'm so excited now to watch a clip of him now realizing he's from the challenge which is like the one show I never miss other stuff I'll let myself fall behind for months um stuff that I watch that maybe still is on TV but the challenge I don't like I have to watch it because I've been watching it so long probably won't watch season 39 though because it's just newbies no disrespect to the newbies but I've been watching for a long time and there's certain people I'm going to want to uh watch I wonder why Theo doesn't do the challenge anymore I wonder if he would do all stars anyway without further ado here we go so I grew up in my neighborhood. We didn't have a lot of diversity in my neighborhood. Diversity is always people's talking about it. And we didn't have it. You know, my neighborhood was poor black, poor white. That was our neighborhood, you know. <laughs> so I didn't feel any white privilege. I know some people had it, man, you know. I knew some motherfuckers with sweaters. <laughs> but I was two tank tops in the winter, okay? Yeah. Dude, I feel you. And I just didn't feel it, you know? I wish I'd have had some white privilege, dude. Sign me up. <laughs> but I didn't have it, man. It was just poor black kids, poor white kids, man. And my poor black friends would always be like, man, look what you did to us. And I'm like, dude, do you think I would do all that shit to y'all and then move right next door, bro? <laughs> Sorry, that was good. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't have a coat a couple times in the winters. I had a sweater. But most years, I remember standing out for the years that I went and rode a school bus and a sweater and there was like snow outside and it was not a particularly warm sweater either. And I'd be like, so maybe that's why my parents let me eat more than I needed to and let me get to be 300 pounds. So that way I could stay warm because, you know, extra meat. Shit to y'all and then move right next door, bro. <laughs> Now, we gonna split this plum or not, dog? Plum? We're in this together, man. <laughs> it was hectic sometimes. Fighting with black kids is tough. I don't know if you ever fought a bunch of black dudes, but they win. <laughs> they win, dude. Dude, I got jumped one time after a football game by five black dudes. I don't know if you ever fought five black dudes at no. night. I know where he's going. Just imagine you're fighting five black dudes, right? Now close your eyes. <laughs> now how many black dudes are you fighting? <laughs> as many as your imagination can hold. <laughs> and, it, and white kids are horrible too, man. It was just in, in poverty. It's just that's, that's what's it? going on, man. And if you're a black guy and you feel like that's racially insensitive, then imagine you were fighting five white dudes in a cloud. <laughs> like, damn, this cloud is aggressive. <laughs> and accurate. That was so short. I feel so let down by the length of that clip. I get what he's saying. The place I was born, I wasn't raised there for my whole life. I was born there and then went and spent some time every summer. But it's this huge city, second largest city in the state. And it is 
pretty rough in a lot of places. There's a military base there. There's several shopping malls. Um, and there's just a huge, uh, like, street. Um, there's just a lot of rough areas in that specific place. Again, I didn't grow up there. I was born there and went and visited. That specific place is not very diverse. Um, and so even though it has a large population of kind of criminal activity, rough areas you don't want to go to, they are almost entirely Caucasian, we'll say. Um, I remember going back to visit as an adult and really looking around and being grateful I didn't grow up there. Not for any reason related to diversity, just because I think if I had grown up there, I would not have uh, made it out. I have a cousin that was uh, like a month older than me. She's passed away. Um, a lot of her friends that age are in prison or passed away and just, you know. Um, and then there are places I've been that have been super diverse despite being in areas you wouldn't expect to be diverse. I lived for years in Texas. Oh, I miss that. The food there? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm There are some really good benefits to being next to Mexico and having lots of residents that either are from there or, you know, their parents or grandparents are from there. And then you learn what real food tastes like. And then after that, real Mexican food tastes like after that. I don't know why I'm rambling off on this. That was way too short funny I knew where he was going with the fighting in the dark because of a joke my sister made one time about her friend don't worry her friend was there and he laughed at it too but anyway um let me know in the comments what clips from Theo Vaughn to check out I just I really feel like let down right now that was short it got me got all pumped up for such a short clip it was it was just the service to the material for it to be too short like that. Let me know in the comments what the Yvonne clips to check out. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.